going on guys it's your boy scare soldier back with another borderlands 3 video and in today's video we are going to be looking at the newly buffed sawbar now this weapon has received the damage increase as well as the child spawning projectiles to do more damage as well so, well actually more radius on them so basically when you get this gun it's going to shoot kind of normally so see nothing's really going on just normal shots which is fine but once you create distance between the enemy and you allow the initial bullets to expand like you're gonna see right here you're gonna get this exploding effect which is really really crazy and that's what's gonna give you the most damage with this weapon and that damage of course is considered splash damage so that's where you're gonna get the most damage of the weapon guys so make sure that you have and create enough distance between you and the enemy so those explosions can happen so you can absolutely take a complete advantage of the weapon now we're gonna show you the stats of this mayhem level 10 version that we have here and we're also using as our class mod, the Blastmaster or the Minesweeper. We're gonna show you the difference between the two anyways. So here are the stats, guys. We have 7,520 damage, which is actually pretty good on an assault rifle. The accuracy is quite low, so that's the only problem with the weapon. And the handling is average. The repair time is a little slow as well, in my opinion, 4.3 seconds, but COV normally is kind of around there medium fire rate and a good amount of shots to break so you can shoot this weapon for a good amount of time the annoyment we have by the way is consecutive hits and this is the cov um the cov saw bar that we have right here so pretty pretty cool stuff guys i'm also going to show you where we're going to farm it as well so where you're going to want to come is to the meridian outskirts and the enemy you're going to be looking for is borman nates so he's going to be located over here so you're going to take the elevator and once you get up the elevator, he's going to be right over here. So he should be dropping you guys that weapon. I'm going to go ahead and get up the elevator for you guys. And we're going to show you once we get to him. All right, guys. So we're up here. And I'm going to show you what he looks like. Just so you guys know who to farm. And there he is. This guy right here. That's the guy you're going to be farming. So let's get into Iron Bear. Get a little easy kill real quick. And there you go. Is he going to drop it for us? No. That's all right, guys, but you guys get the idea. That's who you have to farm. So let's go ahead and check out some gameplay of the weapon. So we're going to be taking on Grave Ward first with the Minesweeper setup just to see if we can get enough damage to make those Minesweepers also do a lot of damage since Minesweeper is based upon how much damage you do. So the more damage you're doing with your weapons, the more, the even more damage that you're going to end up with the Minesweeper. So we're going to see if we can get a good kill off of Grave Ward. And then we'll also switch to the Blastmaster. <laughs> Gotta love those Minesweepers, guys. So that was pretty quick. So... Obviously, the gun does a good amount of damage. Now, when Grave War does get a little far, though, it's hard to reach him because the gun doesn't have insanely long range. But anyways, let's go ahead and switch to the Blastmaster. All right, guys, so we have the Blastmaster on, and we're going to see um, if this gun can literally just take on Grave War without any assistance of a Minesweeper with those grenades. So let's get it. We're waiting for him to slam down his fist so we can get that easy critical hit shot. All right, here we go. Not too bad damage. Um, again, we have to make sure that we're getting the distance correct because if we don't, we're not going to be getting those explosions. And that's what I find is we're having a little bit of difficulty with. But when we get those projectiles to spawn in, then that's when the ultimate damage comes in effect. So we're going to finish off this kill here and we're going to take this over to some mobbing. So we are starting off in the proving ground and we're going to be testing out the weapon against some normal enemies. Of course, this is end game content, guys. Now, the saw bar is kind of similar, in my opinion, to kind of the feel of the serial killer from DLC number two. It kind of shoots in a similar type of way, which is kind of cool at the same time. I like COV weapons because they don't really have to be reloaded as often if you play it right. Now, of course, if you just hold down the trigger, it's going to heat up extremely fast. But if you can gauge it right, it's cool that you don't have to constantly reload the weapon. Now, when it comes to the saw bore being a really good gun, the gun has a lot of potential if you guys want to use it. As I was speaking about a little earlier, it's important that you guys get comfortable with the weapon because in order for the weapon to be maximized, you must create distance between you and the enemy in order to get those extra projectiles to explode. Because if you get 
get too close to the enemy, you're going to start noticing that you're not going to be doing a lot of damage and you're going to start thinking that the gun is really not that good. So like right in this clip here, you guys notice that those explosions helped me kill that enemy in the mid air, which was super important and crucial. Now, kind of like the um, serial killer in a way, it kind of feels like it with the fire rate and all that stuff. But aside from the serial killer, guys, this gun is quite unique because the bullets split into three projectiles and those extra projectiles explode, which is pretty much the specialty of this legendary weapon. And the gun overall, the accuracy is the main issue of this weapon because this bullet spread is quite vast if you do not get those extra projectiles to spawn in via the damage created between you and the enemy you're going to be missing quite a bit of shots which can get frustrating and also the reload time the reload time is a little bit slow so if you guys have uh, certain perks in your skill trees or artifacts that enhance the reload time of the weapon i would highly suggest you do so because reloading the gun can get sometimes annoying although it does have a good amount of shots to break it can get in the way because again the fire rate on the gun is kind of decent so you're going to be eating up ammo um, quite quickly if you do not pay attention so luckily we have mows and we can kind of uh, regen ammo at the minimum but we don't really have much of a way to keep the heat down so that's just an fyi but overall from a damage perspective guys if you couldn't tell already, the gameplay is speaking for itself. We're absolutely shredding these enemies quite well. We also did some good amount of damage on Grave Ward, considering this is just an automatic assault rifle. I mean, we're, we're dealing some really, really good damage here, especially when we have the maximum distance between the enemy. That's when this gun absolutely shines. And another positive note on the weapon as well is the fact that it's an easy farm. Borman Nates is quite easy. As soon as you spawn into Marin uh, the Merindian outskirts, he's right over there. So it's a quite exciting accessible gun plus also it's a world drop and you do not need any dlc for the weapon which makes it a cool weapon so everybody can use which is a good thing now the main character i would use this weapon on is a mose simply because this thing has a lot of splash damage and of course for how i like to play anyways i like to match the strengths of every character with the specific guns in the game like a redistributor i wouldn't use a redistributor on moles because she cannot capitalize on the weapon as opposed to where zane can i would slap on a redistributor on him now this gun does a lot of splash damage and moles capitalizes on splash damage so this is the character i like to use for that to make the gun optimal and overall guys i hope you enjoyed the video what i want to know is what you think about the saw bar what your experience was what you thought about it and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna see you in the next video guys let me know which gun you want to see me review next and that'll be it dlc number four is coming extremely extremely soon guys so we probably may do maybe a live stream with kree so stay tuned for that i will announce it on the community feed so just so you guys know and that's pretty much it so i'll see you in the next video guys it's your boy scare soldier signing out Peace.